Okay, we're gonna film this little felling here. Spruce tree declining. I've got a mark with the bar. Mark has a mark. He thinks it'll be there. We'll see. Of course, I might have thought he was gonna cut that notch a little higher, so that's my default. Demonstrate how we triangulate. Maybe you can see my arms here. We get a long straight stick and I lean it back and I touch it to my eye, just blow my eye. So now from my hand to the end of the stick is the same distance from my hand to my eye. And so if I look at a tree in front of me and I back up until the top of this matches the top of the tree and I put the top of my hand where I might make the notch, then I get a distance of what the tree will, will cover when it falls. So that's a triangle. I've created a triangle between this point, this point, and my eye. And that is in ratio the exact same triangle as the tree. So that's how you figure out the length. All right. Oh, looks like Mark wins. Of course, if we use the prices right, the closest without going over wins. So that would be me if we use the price of right rules. Because Mark is 18 inches beyond. And I'm about 18 inches. It's pretty close to a tie if you use the exact measurements. So, so Mark's coming over to uh, judge. Price is right rule is, okay, did I go over? Yeah, you went, it over. went over. It went over your guess. You know, I no, but I'm still under the length. I think between us though, we can call it pretty good. <laughs> I think it's a tie. We'll call it a tie. We'll call it, just so you know, it's so within we, the margin of error. So we don't fight. All right. Let's call it a tie. Good call.